Just on the attack right here, Pope John goalie Andrew Siakatora takes the angle away from Stephen Churchill and makes the save. Newton with a corner kick right here, just off the crossbar as Mike Pearson, still no score. Pope John with a free kick, Cody Kiss scores, and Pope John jumps out to a one nothing lead over Newton at Pope John. Newton comes back with their best player, Stephen Churchill. He puts it past the goalie and ties this game at one apiece. Pope John looking to take the lead. Eric Lag shot goes wide, and this game is 1-1 at the half between Pope John and Newton. Second half action off the header. Stephen Churchill is right there to score. His second goal of the game, make it 2-1. Newton over Pope John. Pope John looks to come back and tie this game. Corner kick for the Lions. Eric Lag, perfect header, ties the game at two apiece. Now Pope John looking to take the lead. Tom Frangi makes the save for Newton. Nice play to keep it two apiece. Alex Neeb now in net for Pope John. He makes a save on Stephen Churchill to send this game into overtime. Overtime we go. Rob McKinley scores the game winner as Pope John comes up with a big opening day victory. They beat Newton at Pope John 3 to your final. And Dan Cleary has the post-game reaction. During the preseason, we uh, we tried so hard to score. And we really were, you know, we needed some motivation in the, during the preseason. And then to come out in the first game against one of our big rivals, Newton, they get three goals and have the team play entirely well. It's a really big boost, and it's going to set our season off really well. Oh, good. I mean, during preseason, we didn't score that much. We scored maybe one goal, and it felt good to have two headers and a volley goal. It was absolutely great. Um, our first game this season, and we could have done it any better, you know. It was uh, everything you expect from a Newton Pope John game. Uh, we deserve to win as much as they deserve to win. It was uh, a great battle. Uh, it's one of those things where it's unfortunate That's a team has to lose. Uh, they gave everything they had. We had everything. Gave everything we had. You can tell we had bodies dropping left and right. We were playing kids out of position, kids who we didn't expect to uh, play as significant a role. And everybody stepped up. It was a great team victory, uh, and especially is a great way to start off the season to, uh, to get a win against a team like Vernon. That says a lot about us, I think. When Rob McKinley comes on the field, he brings a lot of energy, and he also brought the game-winning goal against a very good goalkeeper in Tom Frangia. It was a great service by, I'm pretty sure it was either Cody Kiss in the corner, and Eric tried to chest it down to himself, and uh, he had a great game, but just luckily he came right to my foot, and I put it in. It was an easy goal. What was that feeling like when, it, when you saw it got past Frangia, who's a very good goalie? Uh, it was absolutely amazing scoring a great goalie like that, and uh, had a lot of emotion inside of me. Rob is one of those guys who we expected something from, but maybe not this much, as, at least this early. And uh, Rob, we, we told our outside midfielders, stay wide, because that's where we were most dangerous. And Rob was he, his discipline. He stayed wide. Uh, he was able to get in front of his defender. I think Casey Ferriola or Eric Lag was able to flick it onto him. And uh, Rob stayed composed in front of the net, was able to put it in. So uh, it's you know a nice debut, debut for him.